succulent lovers welcome back to sweet sweet eye here today i want to show you my little little howardia corner and yes i got a call so my voice doesn't sound good i'm getting sick constantly every time the weather changes i feel like as i get older <laughs> i'm becoming more prone to being sick but anyway we can still enjoy succulents so here i show you my key little pot Ooh, look, this is Kupri Eye. So it was a gift of one of the members from ACT um, Cactus and Succulent Society. Isn't it a cute pot? I love this pot. And it was sitting on my table for a while. So recently I just um, repotted it, but it's still alive. And the color is amazing. It's, when I got it, it was green. I didn't expect it to turn this color. So I think it changes color when it hit the sun. And it's actually starting to face for the sun. So they've just been here for about, uh, I don't know how many days. Maybe a, nearly a week. And then I have my tiger's jaw. It's not how worth here. But they're really loving this space. They've been here the whole time. I just repotted them and they're looking gorgeous. They got beautiful rainbowish kind of color. And then here's this one, it's a truncata in my cute little pot. Yay! Okay, Let's see if I have the name for it. Maybe put it down somewhere. Look at the little window. I love these and the leaf. Look at that. They look like little toes. So it's just called truncata. Okay, that's the name I got when I bought this. I also bought this from a collector. He's selling his collection. I think the one that he propagated from his collection. And it's so gorgeous. I left it in the morning sun, so it goes purple. I'm not sure if you can see well. It's not as purple now, but it used to be more purpley color. I really like that. So it's staying on top to get lots of morning. This one gets the light afternoon sun. Oh. My shelf is very compact, so we have to sit a certain way. There you go. You are so pretty. Okay, I'd like you to face out a little bit. There you go. Okay, here's another trincata. This is what made me fall in love with her words here. I don't want to show you closely okay so this one I bought from a nursery and I really like the marking Look at so it's also truncata so that's what they sold it as at. maybe it's different variety but look the cuts more defined on this and it's much much shabbier look beautiful I really like these one. Look at this. Like, different color in the background. Not the background, the bottom. The bottom has different color. Let's look from a different angle. Look, they're like little steps. The marking are gorgeous. So I bought this thing I paid $30 from one of the nursery. So some nursery will have them randomly so that's really cute okay what else do we have here this one is gorgeous look little star shape looks like flower and it goes a bit purple when it's in the sun a bit pinkish so this one's called ice lily it's beautiful i bought this also from a nursery when i went down the coast I just saw it and I said, I have to take it home with me. I can't help myself. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the window. Love the clear window. What else do I have up here? Oh, look here. It's my, one of my favorite. This is called Silver Swirl. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that white marking. And then you have the window and the gray. Very silvery. It's got babies. So I didn't have this long. 
and I did put two. I think I killed the other one. I left it out and didn't like the frost. And this one was actually in a protected area. Because I didn't come out during winter, so I didn't know what was out here. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Look at the marking. <clears throat> oh, don't mind my voice, everybody. <laughs> Oh, here's the other one. I bought this. I believe you would have seen this recently on the video. This is a Kuprii. I bought this at Bunning. But isn't it chubby? Isn't it gorgeous? And it is flowering. <clears throat> Love the shape. Love the chubbiness. It is such a gorgeous plant. Look at the green. Oh, it really pops out in this orange pot. I'll show you up here because this one's heavy this one this is my original plant i haven't cleaned this at all it's been in this for two years been in this pot it's called rain something something yes here you go rain roti i'm probably pronouncing it wrong it doesn't matter. I know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah, this. I love this pot. I think it looks so cute. And it's barely grown since I got it. Actually, it has babies now. When I, when I got it, it was about this big. Just one head. It's got babies. It's got one, two, three, three babies. And it's dry because it's not getting enough water in this pot, but I really like the way it looks. I might repot it soon though. And that's the same plant, but I bought this one from a collector. It's actually a mature plant. And I really like the way it's grown. So I left this one in the sun too to get the color. So if you want the color, it needs to be in the sun. This one's in the shade. It was on the shelf, but right on the bottom. Because I protect it from winter by doing that. I don't know if it's winter hardy. I think it might be from the look of them. But I didn't want to risk it because I love this one. <laughs> Here's my other one. I believe I misnamed it in the last video. I think I named it Lemon Lime or something. But it's actually Truncada Down Under. I got this. And the name is from the person I bought it from. It looks like the Lemon Lime. But the person I bought it from, the name says, is uh, Truncada Down Under. But isn't that beautiful? And it's in this, my cute, cute glaze pot I love. I love the shape of this. I love the little window on top. I think it's very amazing looking. What good nature can do, you know? Nature is so amazing. And also the color is like really bright green when I got it. I think it goes less bright green when it's exposed to the sun. So in the shade, maybe it will go bright green. I'm just gonna put this back so we can look on the bottom shelf. It's not much, but look at the bird pod. Aren't you kitty, little kitty bird? Choo -choo. <laughs> oh, this pod, I love the purple one on me. And there's more of my bird pot. I love my bird pot. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, what do I have underneath? This is actually another Kuprii. The mother died, as you can see. I thought it was dead because it's covered in weed. And then when I removed the weed, I found all these babies growing underneath. It's so cute. I love it. I love the way they grow. And yes, it died from winter. <laughs> I bought this also from Bunny. Here's the other one. This is the one that I renamed wrong. I think I did in the last video. This is also down under. Here, I'll show you the name that came with it. I should have looked. Junkara CV down under. I'm guessing it's a cultivar. Oh, here's the other one. This is also a baby. Okay. The mother died and left the baby. And the baby's struggling. It was variegated. 
I give you the name because I will forget. Uh, Jimmy Foreman is variegated or Jimmy Foreman. I can't pronounce all oh, these Latin name. But you get it. You get the gist. <laughs> Isn't it cute? You can put it on my top of fox. It's gonna be a cute little plant fox. Here's the other one. I believe I showed you this in my last video when I did plant hole as well. So this is Margaritifera B minima. So cute. It's in my little tiki pot. Yes, it's got big it's gonna get big root system and I want it really to fill out so it can look like a pineapple head. Because I really like it. Look at that marking on the leaves. So when I was at this person's house and I commented on how beautiful the plant is, he just goes, here you go, take this, here you go. <laughs> so I love it. Thank you. Here's the other one. I believe this is called Ghost. I didn't have a tag. I bought this from Bunning. And it looked like how were the uh, ghost. So I like that marking. It suffered from winter because of me. So sorry, baby. And here's the cute one. It actually survives the winter. It's a very hard leaf. So this is what called Nigra, I think. Yeah. Negra. Oh, it's a Negra. Look, it's so pretty. And this is a subspecies of that leaf or a um, variety of that. So, Diversifolia F. Um, Nana. So that's Nigra. Diversifolia F. Nana. I don't even know what that means. We should look it up, find out what it means. Isn't it beautiful? It's so cute though, look at the color, so intense. Oh, gorgeous. Here's the other one. I believe I bought this from Bunning. Or oh, nursery, I'm trying to remember. It's lost its name due to the hail. But it's flowery. If you know the name, please don't forget to leave a comment for me. It would really, really help. I try to keep the name on all my plants so I could tell if people ask me. Because sometimes I can't possibly remember the name of all my plants. It's like hundreds of them. I think that's it. No, there's one more that I haven't recorded up, so I didn't put it up. <laughs> yes, this one. Oh, it's looking so sad. It got. Um, Somebody pushed it off the shelf. I believe it's one of the dog or a possum or something. But this is very similar. The leaves are very similar. It's really, it's much more chubby because I look after a bit more this one. I really like the intense forest green on it. It's got babies. I just need some loving. And I will, once I get to it, just need some cleaning up, repotting and removing of weeds. Maybe you sit here until I do. There you go. I don't have the name for this. I am so sorry. It was given to me a while ago, about 2020. And I separated, used it for arrangement and everything. So if you know the name, please don't forget to leave it in the comment for me. It would really, really help. And that's it for today, everybody. Thank you for coming along and checking out my little cute Hawaii corner. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye from my plant Udi. <laughs>